Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 11 Fix That Engineer where today, as usual, we're on a live stream. So say hi, chat. Sorry, you guys in the video can't see the chat, but I can see them and they're going crazy. They're actually talking a lot about Galadon right now, which makes sense, but it's kind of random. But yes, guys, today, as usual, fix that engineer as we work on making some progress. Now, as you can tell, my pop filter is in the way. Hold on. Yeah. So as you can tell, I actually have zero builders available, which means I'm either going to not upgrade something, which would be kind of lame, if I may say, uh, but I think even more epically. Is that a word? Epically? Uh, we're going to be using some gems. I have 4,000 gems. I could use them. I could use them well. And I think that's the plan for today. So, uh, immediately I'm going to go out. I have my trusty miner raid. And uh, we just need to start smacking some bases. Priority would be gold. Obviously, elixir would help too for walls. So, let's see. You know what? Oh! That's actually really great loot. That's actually really great loot. I know that it's a, it's a strong base though. But I think... We should take this one on. This is, like, very different from anything that we have ever done uh, for Fix It Engineer at the beginning. I'm always hitting dead bases, right? Always hitting dead bases, especially since now we've dropped down to Master League. So, let's just smack this base, shall we? Miners dropped down. I'm going to use my king to do a little bit of funneling on one side. My queen on the other. Let's back them up with the archers. And Warden's ability to protect from a... Multi-targeting Inferno, an Eagle Artillery shot, and... Uh-oh, we have some CC. That's not good. And a Wizard Tower. Yeah, okay. Uh, dang it, my stupid CC. No! Alright, well, the Queen's popped her ability. I'm gonna keep healing. I might actually rage. I'm gonna go and raise these away from that CC here. And... I have a feeling we're going to completely fail to get the Town Hall, and that's only because of the stupid E-Dragon, the CC. I mean, how often do you find Clan Castle troops in flipping Master League? You know? That's not even cool, man. It's not even cool. You know what? I'm gonna preserve my miners. There's no point in me wasting my- not miners, uh, my Clan Castle. I'm not gonna waste my Clan Castle with this raid, because I've only got hogs, right? I'm a, my, my, uh, my CC are hogs. I've got hogs in the Siege Barracks. How do I- how do I view the... How do I view them? There we go. Up, up, come on. It's not... There it is. We got it. We barely showed it. Uh, but I've got hogs, and they're not going to be able to help all that much. So, maybe it was a mistake attacking a full-fledged Town Hall 11 that wasn't dead. Because that's usually the benefit, right? You attack a Town Hall 11 that is dead, you're probably not going to run into CC troops. And also, somebody in the comments, or the chat, just rem reminded me that that is a level 17 clan castle. Level 17 clan. So, uh, yeah, I should have been paying better attention. My bad, but the loot was still pretty good. I mean, with the loot bonus, it was over 400,000 gold. I'm still satisfied with that. Just not pleased. That's a good way to put it. I don't think I've ever put it that well before. I'm, I'm not satisfied. Wait. I'm satisfied with the loot, but I'm not pleased. Yes, I said it right the same time, second time. All right, so, anyway, guys, um, let's... I guess start the next raid and request for a rage and I'll bring you guys back in when we find a base and hopefully a better one than that. Alright guys, so we actually found a base with over 700,000 gold. Alright, it's a town of 12, so obviously this won't be a 3 star. But, look what I've noticed. This is the only reason why I'm going to hit this base. Is that we have loads of gold and elixir actually. Right there in one spot. Right? Right there in one tiny space. And then, one gold storage way out here. So I think that they're trying to pander to me a little bit. They're trying to lure me in. It's worked. Let's do this. And I've got no CC this time, so this is gonna be rough. But let's go ahead and get all the miners in there, and the eagle. Not the eagle, the warden. Sometimes, my brain just doesn't understand the difference between an eagle artillery and a grand warden. I mean, for those of you that have watched every single one of my videos, and a lot of you have, y'all are awesome, um, tell me this. How many times have I confused the grand warden with the Eagle Artillery. I mean, the number is an embarrassing amount, right? It's an embarrassing number. Uh, but there we go. So we actually will snag all of that Elixir, which is perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and throw out a couple of Archers. And then we're also going to put the King and the Queen over here. I've still got the Poison spell. So I'm going to poison over this Queen. And we're going to get the gold out of this gold storage. Also, please get the Town Hall. That'd be amazing. Please get the Town Hall. Stupid Inferno, get away. Get away, Inferno. Yes, yes, yes. Go, Miners. Oh, Warden! No! Oh, Warden. Warden, what are you doing? Get the Town Hall. Warden! 
the town hall had like zero health. Ah, uh, dumb. That warden is so dumb. He was sitting there targeting the town hall. It needed one shot. Guarantee you it needed only one shot. And he decided to go in a different direction. Ah, uh, you stupid warden. <laughs> wow. Or, or as the chat is reminding me, I call it him the eagle sometimes. Stupid eagle, right? <laughs> stupid eagle. Fire gang said that, yeah. Man, look. I bet you if we watch the replay, I'm gonna watch the replay. That's, that's 100,000 golden elixir. That was still a lot of loot. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. 700,000 gold. That's a, that's a good amount of loot. But let's look at the replay real quick, okay? Not share, let's replay. Let's watch. Watch this. Town Hall, four exit. It won't take long because these raids are always super, super fast. We're just going to watch the Town Hall because I can actually see the hit points of this Town Hall and the stupidity of this Warden. So let's go into 1x, right? All right, so he's targeting it. He's helping them out. Look at it. Look at the health. Look at the health. One more shot. Look at that. He's got like one hit point left on that Town Hall. And he goes and he starts helping the other group of miners instead of taking care of what was important. So dumb. Ah, ha, ha. Dumb. Just dumb. D U M B. Dumb. Ah, uh, but I'm not bitter. I'm just angry. Oh my goodness, we finally found a dead base, guys. Um, this is awesome. So, this is one of those situations where we're sitting on 746,000 elixir. Hala. And again, it's a dead base. So, it's going to be easy. It's sh in theory. It should be easy in theory. So, uh, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go dominate a base. I'm thinking Warden, we'll do, uh, we'll do a King distracting on one side, a Queen funneling on the other, and heal and heal for sure. Question is, do I need my Warden's ability now or later? I mean, we're gonna go through the core, all the traps are gonna be popped and everything, so I don't really need a lot of heals, only needing heals on the outside ring. So, that's cool. Uh, let's drop a heal out here. Queen's gonna start trying to break into a wall. Hopefully we clear up enough to where she doesn't get tempted to do that anymore. We're gonna pop the, uh, King's ability. Is he dying? Let's go ahead and pop the King's ability. That's fine. I'm hoping that the Queen decides to run around, actually. Let's poison this, uh, King. Let's also poison... I mean, I'm sorry. Let's also, uh, pop the Warden's ability now, because we are coming onto the second side, where there's a bunch of splash damage. I'd much rather not have to use the spell if I don't have to, especially because we end up, especially in the stream, we end up sitting and waiting for spells, unless I go ahead and just do, like, go out and do a raid that doesn't use spells, you know, like the, the traditional, let's just barge around the base situation. But there we go, so that is gonna be a fast and furious, easy three star, and I'm gonna need some three star hype in that chat, or in the comments if you're watching the video later. The, uh, the, the, uh, loot, there we go, the loot, Amazing, right? 620,000 gold, 850,000 elixir. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm gonna need me some more of that. Alright, we found a really great base, guys. Um, it's one of those, it's an interesting base design, but it's extremely low level. Like, look at this queen, she's level 16. That's Town Hall 9 level stuff, bro. On a Town Hall 11. Dominant. We're gonna dominate this base. So, um, and also, obviously, look at the loot, right? Eight. 800,000 elixir. 800,000 elixir. So let's go. Miners, get in there. There we go. Uh, uh, Warden, I'm also going to go ahead and send in the siege barracks that's healing either side here because there's some uh, splash damage. Also, where can I put my king down? Yeah, king is right there. That's perfect. We'll heal. And I've still got my Warden's ability too, so sweet. So I was able to get my heroes in there. I probably should have dropped the Siege Barracks in there too. <laughs> that was a little not the idea, not the plan. Uh, let's heal over here from the splash damage. I'm gonna pop the Warden's ability too once he gets close enough. There you go. Pop that King's ability. Dude, we got this. This is so gonna be a three star. This is so gonna be a dominant three star right here. Let's heal that group way over there on the left again. Get a couple of archers over there. And dude, that'll do it. We're not even gonna need our Rage Spell. Oh yeah. Three star hype in the chat, in the comments, because, dude, total domination over, with the loot bonus, dude, this is going to be nearly a million elixir, which is beautiful, right? Beautiful. So let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. 
first of all, oh, that was it. Okay, I was thinking it was a corner building. But there you go, guys. Three star hype without loot bonus. That is, oh, wow. Dang it. This has been the video of oopses and almosts. Look at this. 998,000 elixir. So close to a million. Ah! I'm not going to complain, though. That's nearly a million elixir. Uh, but the, the gold is still a lot, too. That's a lot of gold. So, not going to complain about that one. That was awesome. I wish they were all like that, right? <laughs> Guys, I have to show this in the video. Oh, my goodness. Over a million golden elixir. I just got done saying how I was done recording stuff. But, and, and we don't even have spells. We've got three heal spells. I was just going to come out and do like a, a bar trade, right? But this is over a million loot. Let's see if maybe we can do some smart sniping, okay? Let's go three miners on each of these. And see where we end up after that. Because I've still got 22. I've got my heroes, got my CC. I mean, we're in pretty good shape right now. I'm going to put some extra stuff on these storages. There we go. So we've got this entire section of loot. This was over a million loot each. I mean... I mean, really, seriously, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, and let me think. Yeah, we still got lots of, yeah. All right, so I'm thinking middle compartment, we'll dive in with our heroes. Let's go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see if we're able to get all of the collectors in the mines, because that's where, I mean, honestly, that's where the vast majority of the loot is, is in the, the mines and collectors. Sweet, all right, so now let's dive in with the king. He'll dive in nicely once he gets in. I'm actually going to... Is there an open spot where I can put the siege barracks? That's close? No. No. Okay. Well then, let's put down the siege barracks as well. We're going all in, dude. We're not messing around. Alright. Warden and Queen. I'm going to heal this too. That's awesome. I'm not going to use another heal spell. I don't need to. Ha! I like it. <laughs> about the king's ability and maybe the queen's ability too because check this out this queen should in theory be able to step up and get the rest of the storages i think we might have missed yeah we missed a little bit of elixir over here but this is easily going to be over a million gold grabbed into in this raid this is insanity Ooh, i got another i got hogs dude i got hogs i'm gonna heal these i know i just said i'm not gonna use another heal spell but hogs right so um queen i would like for you to yeah 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 perfect oh my goodness this is working out great. Yeah, let's heal that one more time. Yep, I've used everything. I I mean, who wouldn't, right? You find a base worth over a million gold in the elixir, you're going to use everything that you can to be successful in that raid, right? So I've got my queen's ability still. I can still pop it. I'm going to go ahead and pop it now because single targeting Inferno, that thing sneaks up on you quick. And then the queen will, well, maybe we can rage the queen and, and take out this town hall. Come on, queen. Come on, queen. Oh, she's so done. Yeah, she's done. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. Oh, come on! Dude, there was over a million loot in that base, and I just missed it. I'm telling y'all, this is like a cursed stream. I mean, the loot was really good. Look at that. 994,000 gold. That's how much we got in the last raid without the loot. With the loot bonus. And that 994 right there is without the loot bonus. This is insane. So with that loot bonus, we're looking at just under 1.1 million gold. And the elixir was just under a million elixir too. So that is just crazy. I don't think that we're going to do better than that today. So, just saying. Alright, so the last raid of this episode. And it's a dead 11. Just the perfect opportunity for me to just flex. Flex on this town all 11 right now. So, uh, I'm thinking... I mean, honestly, I'm thinking YOLO 3-star. That's what I'm thinking. So, let's just throw them all in here, just like so. Siege Barracks down early. I've got no Warden, though, which is a problem. I'm going to poison over this Queen, heal over the core. Um, King on one side, Queen on the other. And basically just hang tight. The enemy Queen went down super fast, which is great. Heal off the edge. And heal off the edge. There we go. Core is pretty much undefended. I mean... You know, not bad anyway. Let's actually rage. I'm going to get that P.E.K.K.A. to go in there. No problem. And then, 
Uh, ooh, Tesla. Wow, Tesla's everywhere out there. That's rough. It's about that king's ability. If we get him ahead, then that bomb tower will focus on the king and not the miners. Oh, yes, and the wizard tower. Come on, come on, king. Go, king. Go, 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 go. Oh, dang it. Okay, let's heal. Queen still has her ability. She's taking out the wizard tower, and I think that that is a three-star. Nice. Dead Town Hall 11. Three-star hype. I love it. Up that queen's ability, and yep, they're gonna uh, switch off and take up the other corner buildings. But there you go. There you go. That is a three star. Once again, love it, dude. Love it with the loot bonus that gets us to six hundred thousand plus gold and elixir. Very good. All right. So, um, like I said, that was the last raid of Fix That Engineer. Not the not the end of the stream though. We're gonna have something special after. After I film this, but let's go into the, okay, I can't go into the progress base. I've got trees in the way. So what's the idea for today? I mean, again, obviously, like I said before, we need to gem something, right? We need to gem something because here's the bottom line. The bottom line is I want to keep all five builders busy and I want to continue grinding my fix that engineer. So we're going to gem the bomb tower. We're going to gem the longest upgrade because that is the most efficient, again, the most efficient way to use these gems. In this case, generally I don't do this, but this is special. This is for the stream. This is for Sneaky Ninja for donating a diamond during this little recording. That's right. That's what's up. So we're going to gem this bomb tower and we're going to get another upgrade going. You guys ready? Let's do this. 1.128K gems in three Two, one, bam. And now we have to be super patient as we remove... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to be patient. I don't feel like being patient. I'm going to do an Archer Tower. Because it's a seven-day upgrade. Or, or seven, eight-day. Eight-day upgrade. Yeah. I don't even need to go to the progress base. I know that I need to upgrade another Archer Tower. We've actually only got two left until we're done with air targeting defenses on Fixed That Engineer. So that's exciting. And I go, what, how many, like 100 episodes without gemming anything. So today's kind of a cool special celebration. All right. So, oh, and the chat. Thank you, dog. His name is the dog. Thank you, man. He actually just reminded me I need to upgrade some walls. So let's go ahead and collect our treasury. And let's upgrade two walls, each one at 3 million elixir. There you go. Elixir has been dumped. That's exactly what we want. And now, again, the Archer Tower. Thank you, dog. You're awesome, bro. 7 million gold, 8 day upgrade in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice. And now our loot is empty. Except for the Dark Elixir. But again, I can't do anything about that. So, now, bro, we've got one more air targeting defense left on Fix That Engineer. Again, one cannon. No, Archer Tower. That was a brain fart. One Archer Tower. And then some cannons. One bomb tower, one mortar, some elixir collectors, and a whole bunch of walls. Oh my goodness. I'm really glad that Dog reminded me about the walls. So, that's exciting. So, um, so yeah, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of Fix That Engineer. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Made some major progress. One more air targeting defense until we're done. Very awesome. Uh, be sure and like today's video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And to join the hashtag... Klaus family. Also, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos. But I want to remind you guys of something. Even if you ring the bell, you may not be the first to see the new videos because now I have rolled out memberships and those memberships allow for you guys to see the videos 24 hours early for only two bucks a month. Every video, early access, and I'm going to sweeten the deal. No ads. Add free viewership for the members. Sound good? I, well, duh, of course it sounds good. Check out the link that's down below in the description for that. Also, don't forget to support your favorite content creator, whoever it may be, using the creator code. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. You'll find a very handsome link down below in the description for you guys to be able to automatically input the code as long as you click that link on a device that has the game. But... Check this out. You may actually want to double check and make sure that you're supporting a content creator before you make an in-game purchase. Buy the gold pass or buy gems or whatever it is that you're going to do. Here is how you do it manually. You hit the gears button at the bottom right hand side of your screen. You go to more settings and scroll to the very bottom. Bam. There you go. Under creator boost, you can see that I'm currently supporting Klaus. But because this disappears every seven days, it may disappear. 
manually input the code KLAUS or anybody else's code. Whoever you want to support. Just make sure that you're supporting somebody. Very nice. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you all again next time.